Yeah, this is Helpful Math Solutions. You are warmly welcome to yet another interesting example as far as proof of mathematical induction is concerned. And uh, you yeah, want to look at uh, this example. So um, we are proving that we we'll prove that 11 and this plus 11 raised to the power n plus 1 plus 12. 2n minus 1. So this particular one is uh, divisible by 133. Right. So this is what I want to do. Uh, for all n belonging to the set of natural numbers, and uh, we're doing this uh, under the heading mathematical induction. Alright, so what we need to do as far as mathematical induction is concerned is to see whether this statement is true for the first element of uh, a set of natural numbers. So for n uh, equals 1, we want to see whether this particular statement is divisible by 133. Right, so we just substitute n, uh, 1 for n in this particular expression. So we're having 11. So this is the power of 1. So in place of n, we write 1. And plus 12. Uh, 2. So we put 1 in. Multiply by 2 gives us 2. So you have that. So um, here we're going to have 11 raised to the power 2 produces 121. Then raised to give us 12. So plus 12. And, um, so this actually gives us 133. So it means that the statement has been anchored. It is true for the first element of the sets of uh, natural numbers. So you can move on and prove that this one is actually divisible by 133. So the next thing here is to assume that so 2. So we assume that this statement for n equals k, a particular statement that we have here. So once we say for n equals k, it means that any place that we are saying n in the expression, we to replace it with k. So for n equals k, then we are assuming that 11 k plus 1, and then plus 12 2 k minus 1 uh, is divisible. by 133. Okay. Now the equivalent statement there would be that 11k plus 1 and plus 12 2k minus 1 is equal to 133 probably is because once is divisible by 133 can be written as 133 and multiplied by a certain um, number. So we're saying that J here belongs to the set of natural numbers. Now from this assumption we can move on and use the assumption to prove that this particular expression is true for n equals k plus 1. Alright, so that brings us to the third step. So using the assumption um, in 2, so the assumption here at this stage, that we will be proving that so for n equals k plus 1, and we know that k plus 1 here represents the successor of what n equals k. So for n equals k plus 1, then any place we see n in this expression, we're going to replace it with k plus 1. So we have um, 11. So we put k plus 1 here. And putting k plus 1 here will result in k plus 2. So we have k plus 2. And then plus 12. So we put k plus 1 here. Now we put k plus 1 here. We're going to have 2k plus 2. But we have minus 1 here, so 
the what we we having now will be two p then plus one. Alright, so he's saying that this one we should prove that it is divisible by one hundred and thirty three. So you can write it as this. Um, maybe I where I belongs to the set of natural numbers. So this is what we are proving that this particular expression is equal to this. Alright, so let's see how best we can do that. Um, maybe we so the main proof, okay. So let's start from this side and engage ourselves in mathematical gymnastics and see whether at the end we'll be able to arrive at something like this. So we have the 11, this is the power k plus 2, and plus 12 um, power 2p plus 1. Great. So uh, we are using, we are doing this, bear in mind our assumption here. We realize that this is, we made a certain assumption that this should be equal to that. So in simplifying whatever we have there, we bear in mind the statements we've made here. Alright, so here we have 11 k to the power 1. So we know we have seen that this, whatever is here, we could reduce it using the idea of indices, where this one gives us 11. Alright, so instead of saying 11 raised to the power 2, multiplied by k to the power 11 to the power k, we would rather prefer saying that 11 multiplied by 11 raised to the power k plus 1. We are doing that the purpose is because we want to achieve something here, which will help us in the proof. So we have that. Then plus, so we have 12 here. Alright, 12 raised to the power 2k plus 1. But here again, our assumption tells us that we are having something like 12 to the power 2k minus 1. So we bear that in mind as we do this particular uh, simplification. And so to do that, we will try and see how we can achieve something like this. 12 to the power 2k minus 1. So we have here 12 to the power 2k, all right, so minus 1. But that is not what we have here. Here we have 12 to the power 2k plus 1. But we have written here minus 1. It means we need something that will add to the minus 1 so that it will give us plus 1. All right, so that obviously is 2. So you say that we multiply this one by 12 raised to the power 2. So with indices, the values are the same, so we could add the exponents. So adding this to this gives us 2k plus 1. Alright. So this will be equal to um, 11 multiplied by 11 k plus 1. And then plus now the 12 to the power 2 here will be simplified. So 12 raised to the power 2 or 12 squared will give us 144. Okay, then that multiplied by 12 to the power 2k minus 1. Good. Now we can continue from here and say 11 multiplied by 11 power k plus 1. Then plus now the 44 that we have here, we can rewrite this 44 as um, 11 plus 133. I uh, realize that when you add 11 to 133, it gives us 144. So then multiply by 12 to the power 2k minus 1. Okay. Alright, so and um, this is here. They are all multiplied. Right. So we can use this to expand this particular bracket. So that 
In effect, we have 11 multiplied by 11, our k plus 1, then plus. So this 12 to the power 2k minus 1 will multiply the 11 and give us 11 multiplied by 12 power 2k minus 1. And plus, what we have here is 133. So you have 133, which is multiplying 12 to the power 2k minus 1. Alright, so now you observe that 11 is here and it is also here. So it means 11 is common as far as this term and this term, uh, the two terms are concerned. So we have 11 being common, so we factor that out. Factor 11 out gives us 11 to the power k plus 1, then plus 12 to the power 2k minus 1, right? Then plus 133, and multiply by 12 to the power 2k minus 1. Right. Now we have something interesting here. To continue, let's go back to our earlier assumption. All right, so follow me. We realize that at this stage we made a certain assumption that for n equals k, then 11 raised to the power k plus 1, then plus this should be equal to 11j, uh, 133j. So if this is equal to 133j, we can leave this one, carry it, and uh, just place it here. Alright, so we'll come and place it here, and we now have 11 and multiplied by 133j. So plus 133 multiplied by 12 to the power 2k minus 1. Now here again, you realize that 133 is common to these two terms. Okay, so we factor that one out. We have 133 and turn um, into brackets. So why we factor 133 out? And now that we have 11j in the bracket. So we have 11j and plus. So we pick 133 away. Then we are left with 12 to the power 2k minus 1. And we have 12 power 2k minus 1. So when we are at this stage, then we are very happy because uh, we are very close to finishing. So all that we need to do is to let whatever is in this bracket here to be equal to i. Why? Because we are proving that for n equals k plus 1, then all of this should be equal to 133i. And we are lucky enough to have 133 so we only let everything here be equal to i. So we say that let 11j plus 12, 2k minus 1 be equal to what? i. So if that is the case, then it means that we can write 11 to the power k plus 2 plus 12 to the power 2k plus 1 equal to alright so it was equal to one three three all of that but you've made a very interesting statement that all this should be equal to i so that at the end we have one hundred and thirty three alright so the proof is done the only statement we need to make now is to say that for all so we conclude by saying that, so we put a conclusion here. So, conclusion. So, we say that for all n belonging to the set of natural numbers, then we've been able to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that, in fact, 11 um, raised to the power n plus 1, then plus 12 to the power 2n minus 1 is divisible. by 133. Alright, so this brings 
us to the end of uh, today's lesson. Um, we shall meet again to look at other interesting uh, topics. And for more videos and uh, tutorials, as far as the mathematical induction is concerned, and um, discussions on um, introductory analysis is concerned, you can like our YouTube um, link and send us more questions. We are ready to actually respond to you. Um, you are hardworking learners, and we are proud of you. Thank you.